Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever East Coast Mainline. We're pretty much are where we finished off the last episode. Looking down towards Huntingdon in the distance here. And here's the sidings we put in last time. Going to spin the camera around this way. Up and do that. Now you may be wondering why on earth are you doing that? It's because thanks to Simple Sai and his gracious assistance this morning over Discord, we can now do this. We have our Google Maps. Now I could have set it up as two separate scenes and flicked between the two. But personally, I, I just want to have a play with having it on this screen. See, uh, so we're working on stuff. See, we do have tracks here going up, and if I zoom in a bit, you can see there is one track. I've missed out. We will go and put in. However, if we flick to satellite view, which is more modern, you can see we just have three tracks and one old side in here where it becomes four track. And have the road with the underbridge and the remains a very fuzzy track just here. So anyway, I'll jump back into game. As I mentioned, there is an additional side in I need to put in. Go ahead and do that now. Wires, thank you. It's annoying that the game doesn't remember that setting. I have to keep changing it. But it's not the end of the world. Father, sweeping, not going to be perfect. It's okay for me. Live with that. Say I don't know what the sidings were used for in real life and so it would be nice to eventually run freight trains in here. No great rush to do it. Though though wouldn't be very prototypical. However what I could do is use that as a freight stop and run trucks down into Huntingdon. Be interesting to see what everyone's thoughts are on that, whether you think I should do that or if it's a terrible idea and I should leave well alone. If you'd rather I didn't do that then just let me know. Either way I shan't do it today. Got some roads to connect up. Or I go ahead and do that. So uh, anyway, today's project. I've been having a bit of a think and wasn't quite sure what to do. Okay, we've got some melody issues there. Like we've got some flooding. Zoom out, but when we go in, the this is the terrible sun glare there. Yeah, this is the manufactured lake where they do rowing in Peterborough. It's not that far in real life. In real life, there is some dock gates here and some rapids where they actually do competition rowing stuff. 
sure there is a proper name for it, although I don't know. As you can see, I haven't been there long and got rid of all the jaggies since I replaced the river in this section. All the jaggies all the way along. Another what we'll do is start the game running. Immediately we see loads of traffic there. Not that dissimilar actually to real life this road. Difference would be of course we'd have stand ground here. So on and so forth. That that road shouldn't actually be there in real life about it. Our option should be coming along this way and in or going in the back way to Fengate dogging a double up there. If anyone's familiar with the area will know that. So on so forth. So what to do today? I think I'm going to concentrate on trying to get some roads in. Okay, we've got the A14 there. The A1 should be coming up here, roughly. None of those exist at the moment. So let's go ahead and put those in. And whilst I place those, I'm going to give some mentions to some other people who are playing this game at the same time. First one would be Grantee, the creator of this map. He has uploaded a video I believe it was this morning or last night which is a pre-benchmark test. As I'm sure many of you are aware there is a performance patch due out very soon. So he's actually benchmarking to see what difference in real terms that performance patch is going to make. Of course, different systems, different game saves, your mileage is going to vary. However, it'll be good in general terms to see how that works. Over to Google Maps, find the A1. So from Alconbury here, pretty much straight, we get to Norman Cross. Okay, so that's going to be fairly easy to replicate in here. I assume Norman Cross is where these trees are. Using. Oh, we'll go for this one for now and then we can always come back and change it later. Don't want to doing too much. Terraforming. Have to go up and down. Very long road. as myself then and then kind of an S bend thing. Falcon breeze not 
copy that. But, oh yeah, so much wider. This is the one I need. Round. Not going to be a hundred percent for it, I know. This way, that time. So not brilliant, I'll grant you it's certainly not very pretty. So grateful when I do unlock our mod for doing the highway junctions. Imagine we're probably looking at the date 1915, so probably another 30 40 years before we actually get that. Anyway, that's in so roughly meandering path. Ah, so we the A14 come down round here as well. I'm just for T now. Here, I bring it round. 
left of St. Nate's. Right. Press roll, make sure you're always attached. Now, this may seem kind of odd, maybe a question in, oh, why is he worrying about getting roads in? In the A1 one, we've got so much of the railway still to build. And my answer to that would be, Rail isn't the only thing that's going to work and connect these places. If I don't get an accurate working infrastructure for the roads as well, we are going to suffer as the game expands, things get bigger. So I just prefer to get going now. Train leaving Norton Mere here. Nice distraction. And the other thing that I am trying to avoid, so I will show you, is outline from a mod. Straight into an auto save. going to take forever and one of the reasons I cannot wait for this patch. Uh, whilst we wait, mention grantee. Next person of course is Slim Nasty, Slim Gaming. He has another video up today on his US map where he builds an Amtrak depot. Highly advise you go check that out if you haven't already. Sure, unless you guys have been part of the SpaceX mission and completely out of the loop, you'll already know Slim is and you'll be well versed on projects. But we'll give him a mention, say just in case any of you have missed his go check him out. Um, next person I'm going to mention is another similar sized channel which is EC Gadget and his Great Lakes map, another US map and wow oh, everyone's saying no one's concentrating on American stuff, well that's two people in a row there yeah, EC Gadget. Slightly different style, he's more vanilla style gameplay. And got very extensive routes going on. Actually they're quite mind boggling at times. Sort of where he's going with it. Yeah. Go check out him while I've got some free time. One more I'm going to mention. Another one that many of you will be familiar with probably already is Colonel Failure. Now I don't think anyone's game style is quite the same as his. Very light hearted, very witty man. And most recent video, he built a station not once, but three times. Which mind boggles, why wouldn't you get it right the first time? But go check his channel and find out 
if you're curious why it took three attempts. Now the last shout out I'm going to mention is someone who has a channel, very rarely puts videos out. Why am I mentioning him? You might be wondering. Well, he's a brilliant modder. He's probably the only thing I can think to sort of introduce him, and that's Killer Cans. He's responsible for the signaling you see me use. He's also responsible for the class 37s, class 47s, class 101s you'll see coming up. The LMS Fowlers that I'll be using. Pretty much, if you're into sort of the UK scene at least, he's one of three modders that are actively developing stuff for the UK scene. He's recently just brought out the BR Mark II coaches as well as previously releasing the BR Mark 1s, both of which I'll be using extensively when they're released, when we hit the appropriate time, which of course is quite a way off. But again, you will be seeing his stuff feature extensively in this video, so I'm going to give him a shout out. He does have a Patreon page that I'll link in the description. He's trying to get 50 patrons and you can donate as much or as little as you like. When he does get to 50, he's going to release the class 50 locomotive, which is reason enough to go and support if you can. Like I say, it as much or as little as you can afford and it's not a monthly contribution it's as and when he releases a new mod so it's not oh go and try and help reach the goal of the class 50 he does have other mods in the works I know what some of them are being a patron myself but go check him out and become a patron if you'd like to know too. Anyway, just put this road in. I think I should have done all along. And seriously debating whether to sever this main link. Don't know if the game's going to cry if I do it. I'm just going to pause it, save before I do this. ML map plus mods. Let's go ahead and save that. And delete. No, it hasn't. Okay. Game will let me delete this, strand all these poor people, crash the cars into the river so on and so forth without consequence okay, the reason I've done that is that road doesn't exist in real life and I do want to push traffic use this area more I want to get building going on here and get some housing going so I'm going to have to take on some of that myself Yeah, also I want to get dog in a doublet road going. Unfortunately, people are going to start using this track up here, so prevent that. Beat that last section. And I'm going to do that. There's no actual physical connection there. reason I've done that is 
there is a bank in real life along here with a dirt track running across the top for the fields that will go in here which is what I'll tackle a little bit of now uh, I'm just gonna show why I'm reluctant to put any fields in just yet do the farmer mod we'll go with number two I can't remember who is but it is any As you can see already quite significant delays a bit like my commentary really quite significant delays and if we hit plant wait again and pop which, although isn't insurmountable, it is a bit of a pain. See, I'm trying to change the settings back to plan and plant one. Got another lag there. More lag as I place this. Now these realistically are not very big fields. See, it shouldn't take too much time to put it in, but already lag issues. And if I was to go to the Forester, for example, it wakes up. for density probably out the back of we'll see look here or right click wait for Click to catch up again, click again. And final time. Or if you hear my letterbox going in the background, someone bring me a pizza menu, no doubt. We click plant and as you can see that was a tiny area in real terms compared to the scale of the map and got quite a lot of lag going on to place the trees so as much as I want to do scenery it's becoming a case of is the lag worth it and these trees took a horrendous amount of time to put in on the previous episode when we did the sidings near Wood Walton you saw the lag there so if I was to try and do a large area like say this square of Foxton for example I'm not going to but it would cause such significant problems would probably be waiting all day or it would crash out the game entirely That's interesting, so I'm going to change this into housing if I'm not careful. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off there. Like I say, go check out the five channels I mentioned. I'll put links down in the description. The Grand T, Slim, Colonel Failure, EC Gadget, and of course, Killer Cans' is Patron page. I'm not going to be doing so many shout outs 
from now on this is why I've tried to condense them all into one go from now on I prefer to concentrate on what I'm doing but at the same time these guys all work hard they put out great content whether it's videos mods so on and so forth and on the off chance you haven't heard of them before go check them out and let them know I sent you anyway that's going to be it for now bye